I just want to address Mr. Johnson, who said uh, you brought the receipts. Well, Mr. Johnson, I've got some receipts for you. This committee met about two months ago, and the chairman, who can call any person in the world who walks this earth as a witness, called this guy, who tweeted just a couple weeks before the hearing, fuck cops. Say what? Your witness tweeted that. Not one of you disavowed that guy. Not one of you said that was inappropriate. I was stunned that you call yourself a pro-police party and you bring a witness before us that says, fuck cops. I don't believe in that. But I thought if you didn't believe in that, you would have taken the opportunity to say it. But no, not only did you not disavow it, you invited the guy here in Congress to be your witness. Imagine if we had ever done that. We didn't. You did. Second, I would love Mr. Johnson to disavow, because by the way, I will disavow the defund the police movement. I've never called for it. I believe just as President Biden believes when he addressed Congress that we should fund the police. But Mr. Johnson, will you disavow your colleague, Marjorie Taylor Greene, who tweets out and makes money off of a defund the FBI movement? Because they're police too. They protect us too. But I don't think you will. I think you're going to sit silent. And your silence, by the way, is complicity. I yield back. Gentlelady yields back. The gentleman from uh, Virginia is recognized. We'll jump. Yield to the gentleman from Arizona. Thank, I thank the gentleman for yielding. I uh, appreciate uh, the backpedaling at an alarming rate from the other side. Watch out. You might fall over backwards. We have a video to play. Uh, I think this will provide some visual summation, please. We need to defund the police. Mayor Eric Garcetti saying, take some of the money from policing, about $150 million. I applaud Eric Garcetti for doing what he's done. But we need to completely dismantle the Minneapolis Police Department. It is outdated. It is wrong-headed thinking to think that the only way you're going to get communities to be safe is to put more police officers on the street. So yes, defund your butts. Defund you. Yes, I support the reallocation of resources uh, from NYPD. We will be moving funding from the NYPD. Yes, I support the defund movement. I'm for responsible reallocation of resources. And defund the police. I think you do all those other things, you don't need all the money that's going to the police department. So yeah, I mean, the spirit of it, I, I, I do support that. Yeah, and you know, a lot of us were asked if we could imagine a future without police back in 2017 when we, when we were running for office. And I answered yes to that question. We are going to reduce funding in the police department and redirect that money. We propose to redirect over $7 million from the police bureau. The, the police department here in Minneapolis needs to be dismantled and we need to start anew. In some necessary cases, completely dismantling those police forces. Police departments uh, are taking a sizable uh, amount of the budget of a lot of municipalities and, and other entities. Uh, we need to look at those budgets, pull some of the money back. But we talk about defunding the police, uh, defunding Defund, defunding the Pentagon. My push is that we defund our police departments. Defunding police means defunding police. If these reports are accurate, then these proposed cuts to the NYPD budget are a disingenuous illusion. This is not a victory. The freshman Democrat adding the fight to defund policing will continue. I also have several articles that I would like to submit for the record. Instead of reading all the titles, I'll just provide those to you if that's OK. Without objection. And I'll yield back to the gentleman from Virginia, Mr. Klein. Would the gentleman yield? Yield to the chair. Yeah, I would just say in, in response to, to uh, the gentleman from California, of course we disavow that tweet. That is obvious. And if we'd have known that individual had had that tweet out there, I doubt if he'd have been invited as a witness. 